When Jordan Love went down at the end of the Packers season opener around a month ago, everybody in the NFL world thought that the Packers were doomed. There is no hope for the season. It's all done. Your star quarterback is hurt. And on top of that, you have recently just signed your backup quarterback who is now expected to come in and win games. Not to mention that same backup quarterback was traded for a seventh round pick because everybody thought it was over. He is an afterthought of a starting quarterback in the NFL. But now we are here going into week four of the NFL season and the Packers are actually two and one. They've won both games with Malik Willis playing quarterback for them. And a lot of people are talking about why. The run game, Malik Willis has been playing phenomenal. Matt LaFleur, the defense takes the ball away like crazy. The pass rush is elite. And all those things are right. But there is one thing that is a secret weapon that the Packers use that not a lot of people talk about. Their O-line is stellar. Matt LaFleur has very creative play calls. Malik Willis is a threat to run the ball. But there is one key thing that is making the Packers the most feared rushing attack in the NFL. And that is perimeter blocking. It's not the most exciting thing to talk about but it's the reason that the Packers are winning. So without further ado, it is time to look at the film and see why the Packers are still winning despite their star quarterback still being injured. Don't forget to like and sub, and let's get into it. The Packers have a total of 19 plays where they have ran for 10 or more yards, which is great. It's even more phenomenal when you realize that's been through three games. That is an average of almost seven plays a game, almost 70 yards a game of chunk running plays. That is ridiculous. So let's look at the first play. There you go. Bunch formation. Melton comes in motion. They snap the ball. Going across. And look at Jaden Reed right here. Boom. Right? It doesn't look like the most impactful block. That's something that people don't understand sometimes about downfield blocking. It doesn't have to be some big collision. It doesn't have to be a pancake. But this little bit of contact by Jaden Reed, that willingness to go and hit the safety first. See, Jaden Reed right here doesn't have a big destroying block that blows his helmet off and his cleats fly up in the air and everyone's on Sports Center about it. No, this block is just enough. Watch what happens to CJ Gardner Johnson as soon as he gets hit by this block. Boom. That little bit where he has to reset his feet gives Emmanuel Wilson an extra eight yards. That adds up over the game. But that's just the first run, right? Next run looks very similar. Same personnel, except this time it's in the middle of the field. Bunch formation. Let's see what happens. Watson in motion. Snaps it. Goes backside. There it goes. Look at Romeo Dobbs. Look at Christian Watson. There it goes. Look, if you just watch the receivers right here, Jaden Reed has a hat on the guy. Who knows, right? If he doesn't engage him like this, the linebacker could come make the play right here. Except, guess what? Jaden Reed is going and meeting him. Now you look on the backside. Romeo Dobbs is coming up here to meet the corner. And he does that. Sure, he's not moving him all that well. And yeah, I mean, obviously, he's giving the running back an option. He's giving him a lane to cut, which is right through here. He does, doesn't do well, but guess what? Because Romeo Dobbs was engaged right here, they had to hit him at an angle. This guy could not hit Emmanuel Wilson head on, which leads to this push this ability to gain a couple more yards. Obviously, it was already a first down. They had already gotten the first down. But that ability to just be on the block, you're not going to get hit going backwards. You get those extra yards, which is so important for getting better field goals. You know how much easier it is for a kicker to hit a 49-yarder than a 52-yarder? Every little bit matters, and that's what the Packers understand. Let's go on to the next play. Right here, once again, 11 personnel. This time, it's 2x2. Two two. Dontavion Wicks is down on the hash. Tucker Craft is off the ball, and these guys are bunched up. Let's see what happens. Sends Reed in motion. This time, it's going to Reed. Automatically, seal out by Dontavion Wicks. Seal. This is the most important block to start this run. Obviously, the ones down the field are also important. If he doesn't get this block, you are losing, if you see the stick right here, about six yards. This is absolutely phenomenal, dude. Seals him out. Boom. Here's a lane offensive line they're getting down the field this doesn't look like it's going to be a big run right Jaden Reed makes man miss offensive lineman retracts here we go now obviously Jordan Love carries out the fake Dontavion Wicks did his job now it's all up to these two guys you got the big boy running down the field then you got the backside block there it goes Romeo Dobbs okay let's be real just getting a hand on him just getting a hand on him is all that matters because let's be real man most of the time especially when I was in college, DBs, they don't want to tackle. They really don't. If they don't have a straight shot at a defenseless receiver, they don't really want to fight. But that small block... Now, obviously, the majority of this play came from the big guys. But this block by Dontavion Wicks, 
This isn't some head up guy. No, he has to go and get his depth when he's going to block the corner. Because the corner bites immediately. You watch him bite. If he doesn't hit him, then I'm guessing Emmanuel Wilson will have to, which then opens up a lane for all three of these guys and this free safety to trigger down and stop this. But it doesn't. They all do their jobs. Do they do it the most effective way? No, obviously 53 got a hand on them. But what do they do? They give great effort and they get a touchdown. Let's move on to the next play. Sends a guy in motion. There goes Jaden Reed. Does an orbit motion. That's boom. They fake the orbit. They sell it well. And then Josh Jacobs does the rest. Right? Receivers don't really do much on that play. They don't do much on that play. But what they did do is what? They knew they weren't getting the ball. And they still made it look believable. Which freezes all these guys. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Obviously, it's cover one. So he's going to get to the middle of the field. But that little bit, you can see these linebackers, they bite on it. Right there. Shuffles, boom. Uh-oh, can't get there. If he gets there in time, maybe the Packers don't get all the way over here. Smallest movement matters, right? I'm not going to lie and think that every single receiver is the reason. No, the O-line has been phenomenal. The running backs have been phenomenal. This one is interesting. I love this. So the Packers are in 21 personnel. Split backfield, one tight end. Two receivers condense. A lot of the Packers do condense stuff because it's easier for the receivers to get up and block in here. Malik Willis' first start. Tucker Craft goes in motion, goes to the other tackle, snaps the ball. Boom. Dobbs may have gotten away with the hold, but there's a hold. Guess what? Boom. Dobbs gets here. You have action. You have your hips exactly where they want to be. You want to be forcing this DB out. Tackle latches on. Here comes big old Tucker Craft coming through. Dobbs, he got beat on the block, but he was on the block. That's what matters. Holds him a little bit. Oh, well. And the thing is, is that you don't see it on this play. But Christian Watson being right here, if Josh Jacobs makes this guy miss, he would be off to the races because Christian Watson is taking that backside block seriously. Something that you will see coming up. Split backfield once again. We have seen this play before. You can notice by the split backfield and the motion. I haven't watched this run, but I'm guessing Tucker Craft is going to go here, come around and pull right up. Or they could run something else on it. And there it is. A screen pass. That's a wrinkle. Great play call. It's a fantastic play call. But what do you notice from the screen pass? Right here, when they start the screen, Christian Watson is going to wall this defender off. And he does that. Why? So Jaden Reed can get out and around. Tucker Craft goes up to get that second level. Who's on the backside? I think that's Bo Melton. Going to get a backside block. Here goes Jaden Reed. Here goes Jaden Reed. Just that little willingness to sit here and take a block. The best part is, is that I have ran these types of plays before. You are always told, do not let them beat you over the top. Make them go and run underneath you. Because by that time, if they run underneath and get that tackle when you've been trying to get them, that's on this guy. That's on this guy for being slow. Boom. Tries to go underneath you. He's there. Tucker Craft, phenomenal. Romeo Dobbs is working up there. Big chunk play. Now we have a different look once again. This time it's 12 personnel. One running back, two tight ends. Receivers are bunched. On the snap of the ball, Bo Melton gets the toss. Look at the big boys go. Look at the big boys go. Snap the ball. Melton comes to get the handoff. And there's Christian Watson right here. Latching on. He sees his guy. He knows where he's going to go. Tucker Craft and the big boy. They're out running. Boom. Yeah. Christian Watson could have done a little bit better. He could have. But he was trying. Next play. This is our first time in 10 personnel. First time in 10 personnel. Three receivers here. One there. And this is going to be... Gosh, that's beautiful. Gosh, that's beautiful football, dude. Oh, my gosh. Obviously... Jordan Love is out. They're going to do different stuff with the offense because Malik Willis has only been here a couple weeks. They run that. They motion it. It's a screen. Realizes it isn't. He goes. But what does Romeo Dobbs do? He doesn't sleep. Sometimes they'll tag something on this backside, like a quick out or a hitch or a go. Something to keep this guy entertained. But I have a feeling that Matt LaFleur told Malik Willis, look, if you snap this ball, this isn't here. We know you're fast. Eggs out the backside. Romeo, just latch on and block. Now Malik Willis gets tackled before he can get there, but he's at the sticks. 
second down. That could make the difference. Just them being there can make the difference. He doesn't get it, but he's there. That's what matters. Here we are once again. Split back formation. Tucker Craft is right here. We saw it earlier in the run up the middle. We saw it again with the screen pass to Jaden Reed, who's right here. Here he goes. Lined up again. Ball is snapped. There's Jaden Reed. Dontavian Wicks. Make some slide. Dude, that's so nasty. Now, Dontavian Wicks got beat here. But he tried. He got there. And he got he got in the way and he got there. That's that's half of blocking is just being in the right spot. Because doing that, this guy gets him. Dontavian Wicks, maybe he holds him a little bit. They don't see it. It's only a hold if they call it. Let me tell you that right now. It is only a hold. It is only a block in the back if the flag comes out. If it isn't, it's a great block. The majority of great blocks at some degree are holding. That's just blocking 101. You kind of have to hold sometimes. Dontavian Wicks does. It works out. Hey, you take what you can get, especially in a scenario like this. Next play. 10 personnel. 2 by 2 Shotgun. Left hash. Malik Willis sends Musgrave in motion. There he goes. No one's there. Let's go run. Let's go run. Find work. Find work. Find work. He was close to scoring because they understood as soon as you see the quarterback run, you never, ever, ever as a receiver come back. Because if you come back, and I'll tell you why, this was my rules, so I'm thinking it's their rules as well. If you come back and crack somebody, there is about a 50 seven percent chance i just made that up off the top of my head that they're throwing a flag you're getting a crackback block and you're getting a personal foul and you get moved back 15 yards christian watson he sees it uh-oh right there Jaden reed didn't get there in time but he tried to get there romeo dobbs thinks it's a touchdown i thought it was too christian watson recognizes boom okay fine work bang malik willis doesn't slow down who knows because christian watson took him all the way out here the thing is, a lot of NFL drives stall within this five-yard line, depending on how good the D-line is that you're playing. The Packers have been stalled in the red zone so many times. In fact, I'm pretty sure they were stalled right here as well. But Christian Watson turned up field, got work. It's crazy, as I'm pointing it out, how many different things could happen. A lot of stuff is highlighted as to why the big runs happen, but you can see why a little bit the run goes from 10 to 30. That's what perimeter blocking is about. Motions him to the boundary. This big boy football. Hands off to Josh Jacobs. Good cutback. Good cutback. That's all Jacobs. That's great blocking. But once again, there's Christian Watson getting over there from the other side of the formation. Christian Watson goes. He understands that he has to get that linebacker from getting over there. Is it pretty? Does he wrap his hand a little bit? Yeah, but he makes a little bit of contact to where, look, he wasn't there. That shot. He's getting wrapped up in the backfield. Can't get there. They fall all over themselves. Josh Jacobs runs upfield. There's a lot of inserts, a lot of wraparound blocks in the Packers blocking game. That's why they motion. That's why they get them all close. Like this. 12 personnel. Bunch. Condensed. Left hash. Malik Willis sends him in motion. There you go. Fix it. Hand off. Dontavian Wicks. Watch Dontavian Wicks on this play. He is the point man. He is the farthest away from the ball. He is the farthest man away from the ball. Like I said, it is only a block in the back if you get called. Shoves him in the back. Dude is tackling air. That is egregious. That is egregious, but guess what? It doesn't get called. Romeo Dobbs. Got a man on. Just look at him fighting. Look at him fighting. There you go, 10 yards. He's looking for a block in the back. Dontavion Wicks. He did, what, he did the best thing possible. You never put your hands up. You just let him go. Look at that. We know it's coming. We've seen this a couple times, right? Or do we know it's coming? This is a Matt LaFleur offense. Pulled it. Zone read. Tucker Craft. Romeo Dobbs. Romeo Dobbs. His downfield blocking is elite. First thing he notices, guess what? It's a press corner. Usually, if they are in press, if they are in press bail, you can get them by just running a go route because they are solely focused on you. They are solely focused on taking the boundary receiver out of the play. That's what they're told. This is your only responsibility. Don't worry about anything else. Romeo Dobbs knows this. So he's like, you know what? I'm not even going to block. See you later, buddy. Dontavian Wicks, they're all here. It's a read play, right? 
So they're blocking on the outside. They're ready. Malik Willis pulls the ball. Romeo Dobbs sees that. Boom. Immediately inside. That small hit. Noticing he's off balance. He gets him off balance. And then a quick boom. Creates about three more yards. Five. Yeah, about three more yards that Malik Willis can get. He doesn't do that. Malik Willis is going to have to cut up, get into all the junk. Romeo Dobbs does that. Moves his feet. Makes him spin. Boom. May not look like much, but a good block on the perimeter can do all of this stuff. Jaden Reed goes into motion. Once again, 11 personnel. You don't really see this good of blocking out of 11 personnel in the NFL. Usually when people want to block like this, they go 12. Here you go. Jaden Reed back in motion. The orbit hands it off to him. Dontavian Wicks gets busy. Jaden Reed almost had enough. If that was to the field, that would have been gone. Obviously, it would have been drawn up different. But watch Dontavian Wicks right here. Hits him. Goes. He doesn't chase him. He knows where the run is going. That is so important. That is so good. O'Lyman gets a piece. Dontavian Wicks, he understands, right? He got away with the block in the back. You're not getting away with it right here. Stripes is here. What do you do, though? You wait. He turns back and you engage. Doesn't have to be a killer shot, right? You just get in the way. If you took a picture of this, right, you'd probably think Dontavian Wicks is getting dominated. This is art. Just this still picture. The O-line got out. Jaden Reed has a straight shot. If you showed this picture to me right now, I'd say it's touchdown. He just barely gets off of 50's block. Just missed him. He hits him at the touchdown, and he knows it too. That's a play. Jordan Love is emoting on the sideline. He loves it. Manuel Wilson in the backfield. Left hash. What is it? 11 personnel. Why? One running back. One tight end. Sends Bo Melton in motion. Orbit motion, right? Handoff. Look at the defense. Hang on. What is it, fellas? It is a screen. Watch Art, right? Look, Romeo Dobbs. He misses, right? But look at Christian Watson here. Just watching this whole play. This play's hitting over here, right? It's very easy to be disinterested. I know I probably would be. I'd be like, I don't want to go all the way over there. But look it. He realizes, you know what? I don't have an angle here on this screen. Emmanuel Wilson gets through. Guess what? I still don't have an angle. Uh, I can't hit this guy. I'm not going to go back to this guy because what happens if something opens up? Wait for the opportunity. Wait for the opportunity. He backs up. Now you get him. Now you get him. Does he probably? He still probably doesn't get him. Because Emmanuel Wilson cuts like that. That's pretty athletic if he turned and got him. But what does Christian Watson not do? Give him the chance to. Boom. A little bit. Just get a little piece of him. Emmanuel Wilson, that's a touchdown. I understand a lot of people are going to be looking at this and be like, okay, you're stretching. You're grasping at straws. But I'm telling you, that's just how perimeter blocking is. If you can just do enough, just enough to slow up, you can slow them up by half a second, that's a touchdown. That is why the Packers look so good. Obviously, their play calling has been phenomenal. Shout out Matt LaFleur. Shout out Josh Jacobs. Shout out Malik Willis. Shout out the O-line, most important. But the reason the Green Bay Packers have been doing so well, and no one's talking about it, is their perimeter blocking. Because it has been nothing short of phenomenal. Thank you guys for watching. This is my first ever film breakdown, I guess you could say. It's not really much of a breakdown. just kind of want to point out things that I noticed. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day or night whenever you're watching this. And the most important thing I can say to you is this. God bless. Jesus loves you. Peace.